guys, I'm Pastor Anna and I'm the early childhood pastor here at New Hope. And today I'm going to be bringing you guys just a few words of encouragement. The Lord has laid just a few things on my heart that I want to share with you today. Um, so the first is mean that you are fully known by God. In Psalms 39, it says that he knit us together in our mother's womb and he knew us before we were born. In, in verse 1, it says, You've searched me, O Lord, and you know me. In Luke 12, 7, it says, Every hair on your head is known by God. And in Psalms 56, 8, it says, Every tear that you have cried has been recorded on God's scroll. God knows you so intimately, so deeply, that we probably can't even comprehend that he knows us so so much better than we know ourselves. And we can take comfort in knowing that God, we are fully known by God. God knows every situation, everything we've thought, everything we've gone through, every everything we will go through. The Lord knows us. We're fully known by God. Jesus goes with you and before you. In Deuteronomy 31, 6, it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God goes with you. This is when Moses is talking to the Israelites right before they enter into the promised land. Now, Moses can't go, but Joshua is going to be their new leader, and they are going to go into the land that God has promised. And there's so many unknowns, and they're going to have trials, and they're going to have challenges, but Moses gives them a word of encouragement and says, Do not be afraid. The Lord is going with you. He's going before you. He's going to fight this battle. It's not just you. The Lord's got you. And the Lord has been bringing that verse to my attention because during this time with this virus, with this sickness, we have so many unknowns. There And there's going to be trials and there's probably going to be challenges that we're all going to face. But we are God's children and He is going with us and He's going before us. And in this situation situation he is fighting our battles it's not just us God's got this and I love that we are so known by God that he he knew that he needed to put in the Bible over and over again do not be afraid do not be anxious because he knows how we work he knows that we tend to give in to fear or anxiety or worry in Philippians 4, 6, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. He knows us. He says, when, when the weight of the world wants to come on your shoulders and you, you let it affect your mind, don't, don't. Just come to me. Come have a relationship with me. I want to hear your heart. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear your emotions. Present your prayer request to me. Have a relationship with me. In John, John 16, 33, it says, We're going to have trouble in this world, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. The Lord knows you. He goes before you. He goes with you. Don't be anxious. Come to Him. Have a relationship with Him. And don't, don't, do not be afraid. We're going to have troubles in this world, but Jesus has overcome it all. All sickness, all disease, God has overcome it. He's overcome sin. He's overcome death. He's given us the promise of everlasting life. Jesus has got this. The last thing the Lord has been telling me is there's so many things that we can focus on with the media, with this virus. There's so many unknowns. There can be so many worries so many things that we can we can look around and focus on but he's been telling me just focus on Jesus fix your eyes on Jesus fix your eyes on your hope on your salvation on your savior on your promise of everlasting life fix your eyes on Jesus Christ because when you fix your eyes on things that are not of this world on 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 the bible on on the spoken word of God on, on truth, on what is good, what is pure, what is holy. When you fix your eyes on Jesus Christ, everything else, all the problems of this world grow dim in comparison to the light of Jesus Christ. So fix your eyes on Jesus. Fix your eyes on what is good, what is pure, what is holy, what is true. Focus on truth. There's so many things that we can focus on. There's so much, so much fear, so much panic, so much worry that we can let our hearts focus on. But the Lord says, focus on me because I am what's true. I am what's good. I am what's pure. And I am what is going to stand from the beginning to the end. I will remain. 
So fix your eyes on me. You're fully known by God. He knows everything you're going through, all your situation. He is with you. He goes before you. And fix your eyes on Jesus. Because he is our hope. He is our savior. And he is our salvation. And he is the promise of our everlasting life with him. One day we get to be in heaven with him. And we should focus on Jesus.